Hello everybody, it's Kai. Welcome back to my channel and welcome, welcome to a brand new speed build video. And in today's video, we are going to be building a micro home and the theme for the micro home is a glass micro home, which I never done before. <laughs> I guess this is my first time doing it and I've been wanting to do a micro home for a while now, ever since the tiny living pack came out, but I always Whenever I build a tiny house, it ends up being quite a bigger tiny house. <laughs> Maybe in the tier 2 or tier 3 tiny home category. But I'm really happy about this one because I finally managed to make a micro home, which is the tier 1 tiny house. I believe it's what you call it. <laughs> but anyways, this build ends up having a lot of like glass windows because the theme is a glass micro home <laughs> and we are building this house in the world of new crest which is the world that came with the base game but unfortunately i didn't use only base game items for this build even though i wanted to i didn't end up doing so because i wanted to use a lot of items that are from different packs such as the tiny living pack and also eco lifestyle and a bit of get together and also discover university for the standing shower so I, this is not a base game only build and I apologize for that but I am actually planning to do a base game only um, tiny house maybe in the near future. I think I have done one before but it is one of my old builds. But anyways, you can see that we are working on the structure over here and the structure is pretty much simple. It is like two boxes with a bridge in the middle. <laughs> it looks like that but yeah, it's pretty simple because... I just didn't know how to build a tiny home. I usually, I mean, my forte is more towards like larger family homes and stuff like that. Um, but I rarely build tiny homes. I guess that's why the layout of the house is pretty much simple and just very linear. <laughs> um, but if you want to download this house, you can do so and you have to enter my ID, which is Simurkai in the gallery if you want to download it. And remember to place um, before placing the build actually you have to turn on the move objects sheet because that is the way to make sure that the items that I place in the house or the structure itself <laughs> does not disappear so that is the way that you want to download my builds basically for all my builds and yeah I will just put a reminder in the um, description as well for that but anyways you can see that also, I am working on the general structure of the house for the exterior. Um, for the landscaping, I didn't do much of landscaping. I just added in a couple of base game items which are shaped like aloe vera plants <laughs> um, on the front part of the house and also a tree which I will be replacing that Japanese tree from the snowy escape pack at the back part of the house. Um, but as you can see also I added in these lavenders simply because I didn't really know how to landscape this tiny tiny house. <laughs> so I just ended up adding a few lavenders here and there just to fill up the space and also cover the foundation that you see is quite visible. Um, but I also ended up adding a few debug items such as the couple of bushes on the left side of the lot and also that convertible car in front which is white in color. And thinking back, I think I should just change the car to another color because the floor of the house is already white and the white adds in more brightness. <laughs> but anyways, you can see that we are working on the interior right now. And the interior is pretty much simple. As you can see from the layout, it is quite simple as well. Um, and for the interior, it is quite spacious, I would say, for a micro home because I just had enough space to place things around and I didn't really expect me to achieve that <laughs> because usually when i furnish the inside of the house it is pretty much everything is filled and it's just all over the place um but for this one surprisingly um i just ended up furnishing it very very nicely <laughs> um but unfortunately i haven't play tested this build but i will ensure that i will be uploading the functional version of this house if it is not functional um, but for the interior, it was quite simple for me to furnish as well because there is not a lot of like wall space also. There is a lot of like windows over there and so I didn't really add in like wall decorations. But 
I just added in curtains to make sure that there is some privacy or something sensible like that um, for your sims even though they don't really care about privacy they just change I guess <laughs> I'm not too much into the gameplay of the sims so I don't really know but I think if I'm not mistaken the curtains don't really have an effect because your sims cannot really interact with the curtains correct me if I'm wrong but anyways we are working on the kitchen right now and the kitchen is pretty much on the isolated part of the build which is on the right side of the build and the clutter items there aren't a lot of clutter items I just added in a chopping board and also a knife rack from the base game and I also added in that cool kitchen stuff pack shelf over there which I really really like and I thought that I would use it just because it took up a lot of space and just looks more decorated um, but I also ended up using that table from the tiny living stuff pack which is really really nice it is a glass table at the bar height I, s I think I think yes but over here is going to be the bathroom of the build and I haven't play tested this build yet so I need to make sure that the bathroom works because the way I placed the toilet bowl and also the shower stand from the Discover University pack is like really really next to each other and it is quite a compact space so I need to make sure that I will be uploading the um, functional version of the house. <laughs> But anyways, we are working on the back part of the house and as you can see, there is a swimming pool that I managed to include and also I included some activities, um, stuff for your sims to do which are barbecue activities and also some painting activities and also some gardening and a little bit of um, chess thing. I'm not so sure what you call it, chess playing thing, <laughs> but the back part is also quite simple. I will also be adding some wall decorations which I will be doing off camera. Yes, because I didn't, like I always, I mean, I only thought of adding that at the end. <laughs> but anyways, we are going to be approaching the end of the video soon, so I really hope you guys will like this video. If you do like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't, and comment if you want to, and I'll talk to you guys in my next video. Bye!